Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, I'm going to cover how to install Eclipse, which is a text editor which allows you to edit code, Java code to be, to be specific. And um, it's got a built-in compiler for Java, so we don't have, have to go to our CMD every time we create a new program. And we're also going to, or I'm also going to cover and explain what we did in the last tutorial and how that code works. So let's start with installing the, the Eclipse, which I got right here. So open up your, your web browser. You can use any web browser, of course. Um, and uh, gonna make it a nice size and just go to their website. And their website is eclipse.org.org. So as quick as you, you, you've, your, your web browser has loaded up, you wanna go to the, to the downloads page. And the one that we are going to download is the Eclipse Classic. Now we could use the Eclipse ID for Java E developers, but we are not Java E developers. We're just using the standard JDK, Java Development Kit, with the Java Runtime Environment, JRE. So let's download it for, or download it for your, your operating system. Uh, now I got a Windows 64 bit, so I would download this one. So when you click here, it's gonna take you to a new page and it's going to look like this. Then click this to download and it should download to your computer. Now I have of course already downloaded this software so I'm not going to have to download it again, it again but I could do it but it will be kind of stupid of me, kind of silly. So once it's downloaded just go to the to the location that you saved it onto I saved it onto my my downloaded files or my downloads. Should say just downloads for you, and as you can see, it's right here. Now this is the extracted folder, but the the folder that you're gonna get from downloading it is a folder that should look something like this. It should be a compiled folder. Right click on it and hit extract. Now you can't see that because that's out of the screen recorder. It's actually up here extract. So just hit the little extract button and it should become one of these files. One fold a folder. So go into there and you can find Eclipse right here. You can drag the folder over to, to your file system like your computer or anywhere there in your programs folder. And then when you're done with that and, and making desktop icons and whatever you want to do with it, then just double click on the icon. So I'm going to double click on this right now, I'm going to hit run, um, and it might not give you the little run message, but it might, and it, it's going to look like this. Now that's going to load for a little while, and then it's going to ask you for where your workspace is. And I'm going to create a new workspace right on the C drive. I'm going to go back here to C, and this is of course my C, my main hard drive. Then I'm going to type in YouTube tutorials, just like that. I'm going to hit OK. You can of course name it whatever you'd like to. You can even go into like um, users, your name, etc. But I'm just going to make it onto there. So see YouTube tutorials is now a workspace whenever I hit OK. So hit OK going to close this little folder down and it's going to load load up. There we go. As quick as it's loaded up, I, I'm just going to resize it real quick. And we are going to write a real piece of code. Okay, I'm going to explain what it does for you, unlike in the other, in the tutorial before where I just did it to show you. So, when you're when you get in here, now this is for the Java E as well, so if you don't see your Java perspective right here, you want to click here, open perspective, you want to hit Java, hit OK, just like that. 
Then once that is done, you can close down this little tab here, and it's going to take take you to a blank page like this. Now, now we'll move around things in your workspace. We don't need these, for example. We don't need these three. And we're going to need something called the console, which is which acts just like the CMD. And I think it's located under the window show view, show view console, just like that. So we got the console here because we're going to make things that displays in tech in, in the form of text till episode 20 or something. So we want to make sure that we got, we, we've got our console right here before we start with GUI, GUI, GUI whatever. All right. So now when the workspace is set up, we can we can create a project. In order to create a project in Eclipse, click this little down arrow here and draw a project here. Well, if you can't see see this op option here that says Java project, you want to go down to the project here and you want to select the Java project that's here. Just hit next. Creating a project will take you to another little window here and it says enter a project name. So I'm going to enter my project name and I'm going to, I'm going to name it, name it um, Mau Mountain. Mountain. And here use an Executive Environment JRE, and I'm going to choose Java SE 1.6. You might only have the option to choose what to choose 1.7, but I've got my 1.6, and I'm going to use that. Doesn't really matter, but um, and then just hit finish. And there we go. We've, we've now created a project. And the project acts like it's basically a big folder. We've got a source folder where we've got our, all of our code and the library so that we can write stuff. So we're going to start right off with just copying the, the old code from our old pro program. I'm actually going to rewrite it because it's not, not a lot of code, not a lot of code. So I'm going to name the main class something. This time we're going to choose something different. When you're a beginner in programming, it's always good to have simple names that explains everything. Um, and we're going to use something that I used like a year ago or something, or more than that, I don't know. And I, I used the name of my class Engine. So that's basically the core of the program. Because we're going to come into many classes later on, like multiple classes, and connect them, put them together, and things, things, and things like that, and such. So we want to name this Engine. And then just hit Finish. And as you can see now, it actually added a public before the class. Doesn't really matter if you have it like that. Kind of pretty much going to give you the same functions, but I, I'm just going to keep it there. It doesn't really matter for me. So the first thing we want to do is just copy our old code. And our old code was public static void main string args. And you can put this little bracket thing here, uh, either here or over here, doesn't matter. Um, it's basically defining an array, and we're going to talk about arrays in a few tutorials. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil that. Um, don't really need to know what this means right now, why it's in the main thing here. Um, so then you do a start spike bracket thing, and I'm just going to hit enter because Eclipse will add one, one um, or another one of those for me. Then I'm going to use system, capital S, very important, dot out, dot print, ln, for print line, and type in, hello world. All right. So once this code is typed, we can simply hit our run button, which is located in this top bar here, and it will run our program, compile it for us, and do everything, so we don't have to do that ourselves, and it will say, hello world. Okay, so let's, ex let's explain what this code does. First of all, the first row, as you can see, it's, it's printing out hello world. Well, that's pretty obvious, yeah. So the first row here says, says public class engine. This is defining a new class. And a class is basically what holds the code. So first is a class, then it's a, a lot of methods inside a class that can do different things, call each other, and basically creates a, a good program together. Um, and you can you can create many classes inside another class. We're going to come to that 
come to that later as well. Uh, right now, as you can see, we've got the engine.java document, which is a the class engine. So that is why it says engine here. So public class engine. And then we got the, the second row here. So this is defining a class. And this is for the start of the class. And this is for the end of the class. So everything that's in the within these bracket, uh, spike bracket things uh, is in the class, in the engine class. Then we come to the second row here, which is public static void main string args uh, with a little um, square bracket here, two square brackets. And um, this is defining a new method. And this method specifically is the main method, public static void main start bracket string with a capital S args. And then, then there is a start square bracket and end square bracket then end bracket and then one of these spiky things again which which basically indicates this method goes from here to here so the main method very important to remember is that it always goes public static void main string args whatever we could actually change the name um, of the args to something else like unused unused or something like that um, but it's always good to have args it's Normal. They use the args for argument or arguments. So, and then now inside this method, because whenever you start the program, it always calls the main method. So it basically, come the computer goes to the main method, and then what's going to happen in this method? So what's going to happen inside these two? Well, we're printing a line in this command prompt in the console here, saying "Hello world." So we're calling the system, which is a class, just like this class, but it's another class. We're also going to come into these things later. Just learn how to do this now, and I'm going to explain things as they go on, because it's kind of difficult if you're a beginner to understand what I'm doing. So system.out, and this is an object inside the system, system um, object, which is basically an out, out print stream, which is printing things out in this thing and it's connected to the computer so somehow it can can print things out in the console here and then the print line so using this we're using a print line command which prints a line um, which basically means that um, nothing else can be on this row well there can be some stuff before this we come to that later um, in the next tutorial we're going to talk about um, these print print line and print statements and such um, but this basically mean, means that this row is is basically used up at this by this this text here you can see citation sign or double double thing <laughs> one of these things at, at every side or at each side and our text in there and then something we could do using this is that we could just copy this and we could paste it a few times and we could say for example hello hello farmer hello I so want to type in cow but I just feel this is a tutorial I can't type in cow okay chicken that sounds good and uh, as you can see I, I'm I'm actually saving using the control S key and it's a very good good thing if you learn to use the control S key uh, rapidly and you save a lot because Eclipse can crash it's not it's usually not happening it's actually not happening at all it have happened twice to me I think through my usage of it the first time I, I hadn't saved so I had to do I had to redo a lot of code so just a neat little trick uh, when you type some stuff, just do Control S. I'd, I I don't even notice when I do it anymore. Uh, you can also save using this or this button here. If you have many classes, you can use this button to save them all. But if you just want to save this class, just click here or Control S. And as you can see, Control Shift S to save all of them. So this program will, of course, obviously print out uh, these things that we that we print out. As you can see, the print line acts just like new line new line and uh, it prints things out so we're going to talk more about that in the next tutorial if you enjoy my tutorial so far you can you can uh, check my website link will be in the description you can send me a donation there and uh, all of the 
of the money will will uh, be used for further further tutorials and and all that good stuff for you guys and um, so forth so if you want to see the playlist uh, if you're following this tutorial as I said in the beginning link to the play the full playlist of this course is in the de description below that is why this tutorial has got such a strange name so thanks everyone for watching I appreciate you've been watching the whole tutorial so um, um, have a great time and I will hopefully see you in the next tutorial bye